Greetings and salutations, I am Castellan of Ingmar, also known as Tauren of Linden, over on the Total War Center, and, uh, yeah, it's been a while, but, uh, this is more of a, I suppose, a, uh, call for you lot who are watching, whether or not I should, uh, consider making a modder's toolkit video in regards to modeling and textures and maybe some unit uh, unit uh, statistics and such um, and that's pretty much the main gist of this video where they're not uh, I should make a video because of how many uh, people have been recently asking me on the forums whether, whether or not I have advice on how to get started. I am personally not the best teacher, especially when it comes to uh, subjects that require skill, personal skill, or an individual's ability to perform. I'm probably the worst teacher, but I don't really have um, my old uh, bookmarks for uh, those uh, particular um, things that I, I don't have the bookmarks for uh, the forms that I used to look at when I first started out, and um, I usually uh, say the usual uh, spiel of uh, if you have that uh, the tools that you would need for uh, modding, uh, especially with three models and um, textures. Um, it's uh, usually the Photoshop uh, Krita if you don't want to spend money on Photoshop. Uh, uh, what's it called? A texture converter. Uh, I can't remember the exact name. Uh, I think it's DXTMP or something like that. Uh, usually converts them to BMPs, uh, creative assembly files, which is the base textures, alphas, um, DDS files, and such. You can convert between all of those. Uh, usually that sort of thing I would say in response to a lot of those uh, particular messages um, and another thing I think I should uh, ask is whether or not you guys would like me to uh, revive my uh, R Denium campaign because that version is currently dead because of how much the that some mod has changed and um, if you guys just want me to do a campaign of it with the current version because I'm not uh, modifying it in any real way and if you guys want me to do that yeah I will I'll take the time after all I am on vacation and, uh, yeah, that's mostly, mostly what I wanted to say. Um, I guess I should also spend the time to make sure this video is reasonably long and worth the time of watching, I suppose. So, uh... I think I'll also do a uh, high school. Nah, that's a stupid idea. That's a stupid idea. I'm giving a high school survival guide. That could be its own thing, maybe later on. After all, this is a hobby. And I suppose giving out information would be better, though. But I'll save that for another time. And 
and uh, as you can tell, I, uh, I've been doing this for a while. I am very bored when I don't attend school. Something I can probably talk about, and I suppose some people are could relate to it, and it's uh, the fact that I'm not particularly a school person. I'm not very fond of schools, especially the one that I currently attend. It is very clearly politically biased towards a certain uh, side I will not disclose, which, but let's just say there's plenty of pandering that I uh, disapprove of, in my honest opinion, when it comes to schools, they should not be influenced by politics whatsoever and should maintain an internal sort of politics instead of relating to the outside world so much. But it's a human condition, I suppose, to constantly refer back to reality even when it is inappropriate to do so. Um, something that I am quite displeased with is uh, I suppose just humans in general. I'm not very... I suppose it's it should be clear that I'm not particularly fond of people. Especially those of my age. And my opinion on those of my peers is that I believe they're all just a bunch of idiots. Or at least a very large portion of them are the equivalent of a potato an actual intelligence. But I can't really fault them. This is the age of technology in which you can learn whatever you want in the internet or on it. There's no real need for schools in actuality if we think about it. If every source of information is now accessible by the internet, then what is the point of, in, of institutions like colleges and such, only to have a piece of paper that says you are qualified to perform a certain job. Something that I am also very displeased by is the fact that you must have a certificate saying that you can draw or have been educated to teach others to draw or to draw in general. And something I will say, art is not a subject you can learn easily. An individual must be particularly fond of the subject in order to become a master of it. I, however, am probably not one of those. It is a simple hobby for me. I don't really care whether or not I am a professional or not. And it's more just for relaxation and have little ambition for it, though I'm considering making it an occupation due to my lack of interest in the medical field, which I am currently studying for. The interest is no longer there. It's been uh, quite honestly quenched. There's no real hunger for the information. So yeah, I suppose that will be a bit of this video. Um, to be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing. If you're wondering what the hell this is, this is a pseudo illustration of perhaps future iterations of my 
uh, channel, perhaps some characters I'll design and elaborate on, like the Castellan of Ingmar here, and Tauren, perhaps, or perhaps this one, not sure, maybe this is Castellan without a mask. Perhaps this is solely what he is. Perhaps he's a hollow husk. But who knows? I certainly don't. And perhaps neither do my characters or masks. But we'll see in time, I suppose. Anyways, leave your thoughts in regards to the modding tutorials or uh, survival guides as some would consider them. You believe I should uh, do them or not? Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.